listen up people if you are interested about my book my compilation book personal bible i want to talk to you about the real bible so you might get inspired anyway i the texts to it begin in 83 when i started talking because my first few words were haiku tata papa mama daddy is mommy or daddy is the pope of mommy of the church right i was one years old at those words so um, anyway what do I want to say is that um, anyway dad was very good with me the first two years of life he was wonderful maybe daddy beat mommy right but uh, <coughs> what do I have to say I have two volumes I have from the first volume has text from uh, 1999 to 2031 and was printed and finished 2023 this year. Now the holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. Oh, it's Coca Cola. I don't drink Coca Cola. I once tried to drink a Pepsi and I got a little drunk. So, what do I want to say, is that um, um, and then this year I made the second volume, bigger than the first. The first has 1,113 1, pages on three columns of 12 times New Roman. The second volume which uh, I should have written until 2033 uh, has 1320 pages so I'm off duty until 2023 because I wanted to make it like the Bible but how is so I have part 3 3343 part 4 4353 and done. So, what do I have to say uh, about the Bible? Abraham, who is the father of the believers, be they Hebrews, historical Hebrews, and contemporary Israeli and Jewish, being uh, Christians being even the Rostra, right, the Magi of the Bethlehem, gold, myrrh, and frankincense, or with the Muslim, uh, was born in 1900 years ago in Ur, in uh, Persia, gold. And God spoke to him and said, Come to the country which I will show you. Not I show you a country, go there. I will tell you where the, the country is. You are you will walk. And he was a nomad. Anyway, he was the father of Ismail, the father of Isaac. Isaac was the father of Adam and the father of Jacob. And Jacob, who was then uh, blessed as Israel, the one who fights with man and God and wins, uh, had uh, 12 sons and uh, one daughter, Dina. The patriarchs. 
Jose, Ruben, Giuda, Simeon, Asher, Neftali, Dan, Zabulon, stuff like that. And uh, Joseph was sent uh, as a slave by his brothers and he did 13 years of from 17 to 30 uh, 13 years of prison in Egypt though being innocent and then because he interpreted well the dreams of Pharaoh who was the holy man of Egypt like the high priest priest of priests the in the east was king of kings in uh, Egypt was the priest of priests, even the god of priests, son of God of priests. So uh, Jesus is like a pharaoh for us. So uh, and then Joseph got uh, was put by that pharaoh to great esteem because he said, "Who can else help us?" And then uh, came all the family of Israel, seventy-three souls. They come and lived in Goshen, and but afterwards, Joseph died. Times passed, and um, Hebrews grow numerous, and uh, another pharaohs were against them, and persecuted them, and enslaved them for four hundred years, as God said to Abraham when Abraham was on the earth. Because we are all on the earth for a while, and then we are not invited to go off the earth, but to go into the earth. That's the truth. Master Mihai, what's your name? So, uh, uh, okay. After five, after four hundred years of slavery in Egypt, was born Moses. Moses was adopted as uh, the Nile daughter of Pharaoh. If Pharaoh was the son, the Nile was the son's daughter. She, and she said, "I birthed him because the Nile birthed." You know that story, yeah. So, uh, when did Moses live? Moses lived in uh, 1400 before Christ. And the 40, he lived for 40 years as a great Egyptian, a prince of Egypt, educated, skilled, smart. But then he fled Egypt after killing an Egyptian who beat his uh, Hebrew and he was afraid. And uh, then, I think you were, I want to say, he came back because God sent him at 80 years old and he lived 120 years. And he said, Now, go. And say to Pharaoh, let my people go. So uh, that was it. And uh, the Phoenicians had some, I believe, iron or something like that, exploitations, bronze, I don't know, in Sinai and the commerce, and they created the alphabet. Well, you call the what you call but the uh, alphabet is much simpler and much complex than the most, which is just uh, graphics with yellow groups. So, uh, what do I want to say? So, uh, Moses took the alphabet from the Phoenicians and made it as the finger of God, the Hebrew alphabet, as uh, the 
Arab alphabet is like the duels of the sound and snakes and stuff like that. And we have the Indian Arab ciphers. Numbers, right? Huh? We want to zero. So, uh, then the Bible began to be written and it's known that Moses wrote the book of Genesis and the book of Exodus and the book of Leviticus and the book of Numbers and the book of Deuteronomy they say he wrote even the, the book of Job and he wrote a psalm in the book of God. Psalm 90. Better read it. If you want a long life, my friend. So, uh, during the time of after getting outside of Egypt, 600,000 Hebrews, but they weren't allowed to go into the country of Canaan, Palestine, because they doubted not even Moses was allowed, only Joshua and Caleb, because they said that God is with us and we could. So what they did for 40 years after they exited Egypt was to go through the Red Sea and then wander from one spring to another in the desert of Sinai and Arabian desert uh, Araba actually and uh, but not uh, no, no cloth no sandal was restored they walked on sand or something like that maybe some rocks so, uh, and then it was the book of Joshua, was the book of Judges, and then happened a thing, a historical thing. The last judge, Samuel, and the greatest, uh, People said to him, make on us a king. We want to have a king as other peoples. And uh, Samuel was disappointed. You want to be like the other peoples. You are chosen. But God said to Samuel, do not be upset, Samuel, because it's not you they desist, but me. Give them a king. But tell them, the king will take your first fruits, your first everything, your daughters and your children, your boys to put in the army, your daughters to put at the meal in, the, in his harem and stuff like that. And you have to give money to him and whatever. But they said, no, we want a king, we want a king. And so the historical book started. The first Samuel, second Samuel, first kings, the king. Oh, so I count first emperors, two emperors, and then first chronicles, second chronicles. And... Uh, in the Septuaginta, it said Paralipomena. And then we have some other historical books after they were sent into slavery, Esther, Nehemiah, and Ezra, each a different person. And uh, we have the creative books, the riddle of the Tarah, Psalms, Tongue of Psalms. Ecclesiastes, Proverbs, stuff like that. And then 
the prophetic it started I mean after King David even during the time during the King David uh, saw well, there was the seers but then they were named prophets like prospects look what prospects you have if you continue in this so uh, and we have four big prophets and 12 small prophets in the Bible. And uh, then around 400, the Bible stopped. <laughs> when was born John the Baptist, who was the last biblical prophet in the Hebrew exception. Uh, uh, exception and then uh, uh, started Jesus culture New Testament who was written from maybe in the 40s uh, maybe even before they say that Matthew wrote first in Aramaic the gospel and then from that he wrote in Greek Mark wrote with Peter, Luke wrote with Mary, and John, that is the different, last week. <laughs> and uh, we have some epistles, some acts, who continued uh, organically the book of Luke. And we have the Revelation written maybe 98, I don't know. And then the New Testament ends. And uh, I think uh, that in the 6th century, that is 570, around something like that, was born Muhammad. Let's see more precise. Yes, he was written approximately 570 after Christ and died on 8 June 632 current era. Was an Arab religious, social and political leader and a reformer of Islam. Shalom, right? The reformer, not the founder. So, uh, or you can say that Islam is, is, is itself a reform. <laughs> so, uh, how many, how much time do we got? Around 1400 BC? Uh, 632 after Christ this is scripture how many years well over 2000 years 2000 um, 2700 years took for the Bible to be read. So let's not act all right in vanity. You got me, right? Say yes. Raise the hand if you got 